destination Sanbonani and welcome back to Football Trends with me, OQP. Now in this video, I have news regarding Edson Castillo. But of course, before I dive into the details, if you're new here, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and of course, don't forget to click the bell notification so that you get notified next time I post a new video. Now guys, Amakosi are reportedly keen on sending O Edson Castillo as long as they get rewarded awesome money from selling him. Now guys, if you remember correctly, Edson Castillo joined Amakosi from Monegas SC. Ever since joining Amakosi, he's been consistent on both uh, attacking and defensively. Box-to-box -box nature, uh, big tackles, and even Uguskora himself, you know, he always scores. And I think he has five goals in all competition ever since arriving in La Pana Naturena. And guys, there have been reports from Sokala Tuma, but you all know, guys, we don't trust the Sokala Tuma, even though the state of Uti, uh, uh, he's, he's a wanted player, he's been wanted, uh, the, he has caught eyes, he has caught eyes and they've been wanting to sign him, but obviously, guys, a transfer window, Ivali Le Manje, and obviously we did not see him getting signed, but now, there are new reports, new reports claiming that uh, Amakosi are uh, willing to sell him at a good price. Now, taking a look at what the publication said, this is what they said. Now that the inquiry has reached the management stage, they have come up with the price that would fit Castillo if he is to leave 17 June before 2024. His contract expires. He is a quality player and for him to attract interest from outside means they have seen something and that's why the board and the management think that the right price could be around 40 million rands. It's not like there's anything official from Zamalek at the moment, but they are preparing for any eventuality and hence they have come up with that price tag, which is source to the publication. Now, the source also added this. You know, his contract is only ending in June 2025 and his value is high because he's an international player and he didn't come cheap to Chiefs as well. They are considering all those things for them to charge any team that would want to sign him, whether it's this season or just before the end of his contract. I don't think they would want to wait for him to end his contract before cashing out on him so they will make sure whatever offer comes through meets their demands which at the moment stands at 40 million rand, which is get ISOS. Now, taking a look at what's happening in La Paya de Naturena, guys, uh, we have Uun Jabulon Ngobo, which is a centre-back, and there were reports claiming that uh, Keza Chiefs have opted against renewing his contract at the end of the season, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And then we have, yeah, you know, Edson Castillo, which... According to me, guys, he's been giving like us the best performance. Uh, he's given us the best performance. And I think he got benched so many times. I don't know why, what was happening, but he got benched many times. And hey, guys, I don't understand. You know, sometimes I don't understand what's going on with this football thing because you never know. I think it's, it's, it's my coaches, you know, how they see things because obviously we cannot see things. Um, so. So far, I don't know if o Edson Castillo might want to leave because obviously those reports, we don't trust them that much. But if it's out there, we can just talk about it, you know. So, guys, me, I just want to know from you guys, Uti, what do you think about this whole situation? Do you think we should, um, if this is true, we should let o Edson Castillo go? And if you think so, why is that the case? Why? Why are we selling o Edson Castillo? So... You can just let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, guys, this is it. I don't have much today. This is it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon with something new.